So we're out here on a job on a model home, and we're looking up at the uh, insulation, the floor insulation of conditioned space above the garage. And uh, we got in focus here some insulation, uh, floor insulation, floor to garage. And we can see a gap. See that pipe there? Uh, that's a gas pipe. And this, uh, the insulation is not down against the, the surface. There's two surfaces here, since this is a, a floor cavity with uh, TJIs. So there's, if you were looking at this R19 insulation, there's obviously a gap in between the insulation and what will be the drywall, which we're looking at right now. But this is about a 12 and a half, 14 inch cavity. So up above that insulation, which is six inches thick, there's a gap in between the, the subfloor or the floor up above and the insulation. There's also a gap in between where the drywall will be and the insulation. So this insulation here is in contact with no surface whatsoever. Now if this was Energy Star, that insulation would absolutely have, without a doubt, have to be up against the conditioned surface. But in this particular case, in, with uh, QII, it can be against the, the surface down below or up against the conditioned surface. Now we, on the edges, it would have to go ahead and hit the blocking. So we can see this insulation either needs to be up all the way up against the subfloor or down against the drywall.